Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to explain in detail Oswald Avery's experiment. If you want to know why and how this experiment was conducted, then keep watching. In the 19th century, Mendel showed that genetic information is transmitted from parents to offsprings generation after generation. This genetic material, also called genes, controls the different traits of an organism. However, the physical nature of these genes were still unknown. After the discovery of chromosomes in 1882, scientists were able to establish that genes are located on the chromosomes. Chromosomes were observed to be thread-like bodies that partitioned into the daughter cells at the end of cell division. They are composed of two types of macromolecules, proteins and nucleic acids. For a long time, scientists believed that the genetic material was made up of proteins present in the chromosome and DNA was simply thought to provide structural support. The first evidence that the genetic material is DNA was made possible due to Griffith's experiment in 1928. Frederick Griffith was working with two strains of Streptococcus pneumoniae, smooth strain and rough strain. Smooth strain contain an enveloping capsule made of polysaccharides. So when the bacterial cell is grown on solid medium, it divides repeatedly and forms a colony which is large and smooth in appearance. The rough strain, however, cannot synthesize this capsule. As a result, they form small and rough colonies. In my previous video, I talked about how Griffith made an unexpected discovery when he mixed heat killed smooth strain with the live rough strain. He found that some of the rough bacterial cells were transformed into the live smooth cells. As a result, both smooth and rough colonies were formed. Griffith believed that a chemical substance from the heat killed smooth strain was responsible for this transformation. This chemical substance, also called transforming principle was believed to be the genetic material because of its ability to change the trait of the bacteria and also because it was passed on to all the descendants of the transformed bacteria. If you want to know Griffith's experiment in detail, you can check out my previous video. I will leave a link to it in the description box. Unfortunately, Griffith was not able to identify the chemical nature of the transforming principle. So Oswald Avery and his team continued Griffith's experiment and in 1944 they identified DNA as a transforming principle and hence proved that DNA is the genetic material. So how did they arrive at this conclusion? Oswald Avery, Colin McLeod and Macklin McCarty were scientists working in Rockefeller University in New York. They tried to isolate and purify the transforming principle from the s strain bacterial cells. To do this, they first killed the bacteria using heat and extracted the soluble components inside the S-strain. Next, they used an enzyme to degrade the polysaccharides that make up the capsule and also removed all the proteins in the extract using chloroform. This solution was still able to induce bacterial transformation, proving two things. First, polysaccharide from the S-strain is not being reassembled on the R strain. And second, proteins needed to assemble the polysaccharide capsule is not being transferred to the R strain. So the active material is still present in this solution and they tried to isolate it using a method called alcohol fractionation where the concentration of alcohol in the solution is slowly increased causing the precipitation of different components at different alcohol concentration. At a particular concentration, Avery observed the precipitation of a material that formed fibrous strands. This was taken out and redissolved in water. When this component was tested, they found that this is the active material that is responsible for transformation. Different chemical tests were performed which revealed that large amount of DNA was present in this solution. But to confirm that DNA is the transforming principle, they decided to perform one more test. They used different enzymes to see which enzyme degraded the transforming principle. Enzymatic degradation of proteins and RNA had no effect on transformation. However, 
when deoxyribonuclease an enzyme that can degrade dna was added to the crude extract transformation was no longer possible this experiment showed that dna is the transforming principle and that genetic information is present in the dna despite providing definitive proof that dna is the genetic material the scientific community was reluctant to accept this conclusion like i said at the beginning scientists had believed for a long time that proteins were this genetic material hence they were hesitant to accept avery's findings in my next video i'll be explaining about the hershey chase experiment that finally helped scientists to acknowledge dna as a genetic material thanks for staying till the end of the video if you like this let me know by clicking the like button and don't forget to subscribe for more content like this